Audio. Apparently, any commentary that we've done before this has been completely meaningless. But yeah, we're actually here now. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, we have tests to bring out the DK Donkey Kong. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. Finally, back to kick some tail. Yep. But right now, it looks like he's having his tail kicked a little bit by Mucho Mario. Just a little bit. This is close. Oh, tries to hump for the up smash. Doesn't quite get it. Ooh. Okay, nice down. I don't like that recovery there by Mucho Mario. Ooh, nice down air, though. Yeah, that was a very nice down air. But nice like I said, I didn't like that, that side B recovery. I feel like if he keeps doing that, he's going to get edge hump pretty quick. Um, and he hasn't stopped doing it yet. I'm not edge hump, edge guarded. Oh, let's go against Frodo. Ooh, try looking forward to that. Tries to go for the chain grab, doesn't quite get it. Misses the chain grab again. Yeah, uh, I saw him just like grinding it out against Combs a couple days ago. Uh, trying to work it on it. Uh, okay, just one up air. The up airs are about to begin. Ooh! Now that's a DK combo right there. Yeah, two up airs followed by a neutral B. Now do you 
want. Um, So you're gonna want me versus Frodo on stream next yeah. after this. Uh, yeah. Um. Now, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's a bad character because, and I feel like when we're, when we're whenever we're talking about low tier, it's important to establish why they're low tier. Donkey Kong's a huge hurt box. Uh, his shield's big, but his shield is really small in comparison to his body, so he can get shield poked rather easily. Um, and the only really good thing he has in neutral is grabs. Um, like, his combo game's really solid. Like, he, if he gets a grab, he can tack on a lot of percent, from that, especially against Spacey. He's nice, nice giant punch there. Uh, and he just, like, went right into that. Yeah, he, he predicted the recovery, definitely. Yeah. But I'd also have to say, though, kind of bad on the jump right over going right into that. I mean, no, yeah, don't get yeah. charging. That's just well, pretty much like. Tess had the read on that. He, he, he knew out. Mucho had been going for that perfectly horizontal recovery all day. So he's like, okay, I feel like you're going to do it again. I'm going to get this punch. And you don't really think of, like, the giant punch as, like, a move to use while you're charging. It's like it's got two separate stages. It's got its charge stage. Oh. Mucho Mario's gonna take game two. Yeah. And it's got once you charge it, you store it, you use it for later, and then you like use it. I think we're probably gonna see us switch back to Falco. No? No. Okay, yeah, we're seeing a switch. Good. No? Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um and it's to test his stage, so he gets to go wherever he wants. He's going to Yoshi. Really small. Yeah. Um, okay stage, I'd say, for both of these characters. <laughs> it's the ditto. Yeah, obviously. So, if it's okay for one of the characters, it's, it's definitely okay. <laughs> okay for the other character, too. Uh, I think it's better for Green Oh, Falco. wow, that... Yeah, Green Falco, um... Although, uh, White Falco blends into the background a little bit better when he's yeah. in the air, so maybe he has that advantage. Um, I, I disagree with you. I think this is better for White Falco than it is for Green Falco. It depends on if they're off or on stage. The, but the, the, uh, the Green Falco doesn't really blend in on stage. Yeah, true, sure, because Green Falco's got, like, a black. Yeah, Green Falco's definitely a very, a very dark green. And, yeah. and, the, and the stage is a very light green, so this is definitely, this is definitely in White Falco's favor. Uh, so, rather stupid counter pick by the test. Yeah. You know, this is clearly... Okay. Um, nice forcing a reaction. With that wave dash forward, he forced uh, Mucho Mario to react. That was a nice trade. And he predicted that he was going to react by rolling in to the... Like, to get away from the aggression, kind of. And then he went back and took it. Uh, test recovering quickly there. Ooh. Kind of a mistake there by Tess to go for the air dodge right too close to Mucho Mario, because Mucho Mario is going to easily be able to follow up with the combo. Yeah. Um, I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The air dodge isn't always, like, a terrible option. Yeah, I saw those lasers coming. And, and Mucho did too, but he really couldn't do much against it. He could have dropped down and recovered, but then Tess could have, like, covered more options with, like, I don't know. Um, Mucho Mario probably, um, I know, I think I know why he went on the top, top platform. I almost called it a bad choice, but I think Tess would have badge guarded if he would have tried to recover any lower. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice recovery, or nice, uh, that air dodge was clearly meant to be attacked, but it worked out in the end for Tess. Uh, the two hitboxes clanking, neither of them, you know, hurting their targets, hitting their targets. Um, we have Tess with a huge lead right now. Um, this is pretty much his game. Oh, especially after that side B. It's an SD, and SD by Mucho Mario. Maybe intentional. I don't think that was intentional. Intentional. That was Tess. Tess. 
Okay, I need to go play.